All right, riding 400 kilometers on a bike, difficult. Oh riding it on one wheel. Impossible. For sick kids, amazing. Not for you. We've got Zach Wells here. You are an incredible human being with a great story. Thank you. Talk to us about this amazing trek you are on. So last February, I had the pleasure of meeting Rebecca Schofield, who created the hashtag Becca Told Me To movement, um, doing acts of kindness for others. This is just my big act of kindness. You um, met her doing your, your job, your yes, job, Yes, correct. I work is. for Via Rail Canada, and uh, she was on the train traveling as part of the Make-A-Wish program, and I had the chance of helping her spread her message. And then she inspired me to just go and do great things for people, you know? And a little act of kindness goes a long way, so. And you, you, you talk to her you talk to her on a regular basis. I, I did, yeah, and I, uh, we used to share jokes together and stuff. I hung out with her on my birthday last year here at the Fairmont in Toronto while she was doing some other things on her bucket list. And I keep in good touch with the family, Anne and uh, Darren, the, the mom and dad. So anybody at home could do this. You set your own goal for Correct. the month of June. Yep. You have to raise, is it 2500 minimum? No, if you raise 500 you get the jersey I'm wearing underneath this one. Oh. But if you raise up to 2500 you get the Great Cycle Challenge superhero jersey. But you far exceeded that. Yeah, I'm currently at $4,074 and counting. So. Wow. And people can still contribute? Yes, they can still contribute on the Great Cycle Challenge page, greatcyclechallenge.ca, and you can search for my name, Zach Wells. So what's the reaction you get? Because I can't believe how fast you can go on this thing. Yeah, so I get lots of reactions a lot of times, whether I'm on the treats or the things. People say, like, oh, I've never, I've never seen that before. Uh, it's not common to see it or things like this. But uh, a lot of times when I'm on the sidewalks, too, people are not sure which way to move. So I'm usually, I've got my path planned, so as long as they stay put, I should be fine to... In which point are you here. allowed to ride on the sidewalk? Correct, based on the size of the wheel. Yeah. Yeah. You were just talking about activity in children and how we're not really faring that well. We scored, what, was it a D plus or something? Yeah, D plus. So I know you love to cycle with your son. Yeah. So it's a win-win when you commit to do something like this. You get out and you're active Absolutely. and you're giving back to sick kids. So where do all the proceeds go? Uh, they go to Sick Kids Foundation. So uh, as part of the Great Cycle Challenge, they put all of that back into the, so the research for sick kids for uh, cancer research and then helping to make a better life for the families and the, and the children that are living with uh, cancer. How did you make that connection with Rebecca? Like, what so when what she drew was, you to her so much? Well, I was I was actually chosen by my company to be an ambassador, kind of, to go on the train to be with her to help spread her message. Um, so last February, I was on the train from Quebec to Montreal to Toronto, uh, spreading her act of kindness movement, telling people about it while doing tricks on the train, whether it be magic or balloons. And uh, after having met her, this uh, I was online and I found I stumbled upon this great cycle challenge. And I, I said, well, I have to, it just, it, it, was, it goes hand in hand, you know, and because she'd inspired me to do so, I thought, let's set a goal. And last year I did 228 kilometers and raised $1,300. And this year I've now tripled that fundraising and uh, almost finished my fundraising goal. I have uh, 113 kilometers left to ride. So. You're helping to continue her message that her she helped yeah, in her legacy. Absolutely. I'm sure her yeah. family is so appreciative absolutely. that you're doing this because you said yeah. she wants to make sure nobody else has to fight this fight. Correct. That we actually find a cure. Yeah, yeah, and she wants other people to do acts of kindness for others and uh, create that, uh, that long-term message of it doesn't take much. It's a very simple message to pass on to. Oh, absolutely. And it doesn't take much. Yeah, right? and everybody's using little. the hashtag Becca told me to, which, again, has trended worldwide. Amazing. Yeah. We want to wish you, we'll, we'll let you put that yeah, on. Yeah, I guess yeah, we'll put my helmet on. <laughs> Cycling. Why did you choose the unicycle over the bicycle, by the way? Uh, so it was a harder. gift from my parents when I was 10 years old, so uh, wow. it just kind of stuck. Okay, Has it so taken long to master? Safely? No, I was kind of a natural, as weird as it sounds, so. For all the kids at Sick Kids and the families, we thank you. Keep doing what you do and make sure you contribute. Thanks so much. For Sick Kids Cycle Challenge. Take care. See you, Zach. Bye. The superhero. There he goes. South on Victoria Street. If you see him, give him a wave and a shout. Way to go. Zach Wells. Zach Wells 88 on Twitter. And for more on the Great Cycle Challenge or to donate to Zach, you can find the link on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca.